next song. <laughs> um, our next song is called Before the Throne of Grace. Um, you may have figured out by now the theme of our study break is the different names of Jesus. Um, okay, so the first reference to Jesus in this song is Lord of All. That one's not so surprising. You kind of expect that in a song about Jesus. He's the Lord of All. Um, but next we refer to him as the Lamb, which is significant because that's the innocent sacrifice. But in the context of the song, he's the Lamb who took my sins. And that word took implies willful action, so it's not like a passive thing, like he came and he took our sins. Um, lastly, we refer to him as the Son of Man, which can be interpreted many different ways, but my favorite is Son with like a capital S, so it's God, but he's of man, so like he's human and we can approach him. Um, and we do approach him. And there's a verb progression that happens through this song. So <laughs> we start... <laughs> we start out, we come before God trembling, right? We come before the throne of grace. And who wouldn't be trembling? I mean, it's the throne of grace, not like the lawn chair. It's the throne of grace. Um, <laughs> so then we fall before him, right? Because this is the king, and we're coming to ask forgiveness. Um, but while we're on the ground, having fallen, we hear this wonderful news that the reason we came here, like these sins, um, they've been forgiven. We've been paid for. Like, we're taken care of. And that's so awesome. And so we rise until we stand. And remember, we're still in the presence of the king here, and like we're bold enough to stand because he invites us to. Before the throne of grace I come humble and repentant one for sorrow for the deeds I've done before the throne of grace I come before Amen. 